this is chapter one of High Rise Mystery. If you think finding a body is a fun adventure, you're 33% right. Hugo Knightley Webb, 45, antiques dealer and occasional art teacher. Curly white hair, straight up dead. This was a fact. One I could confirm personally because we, Norva and I, just found his body. 1427 on July 23rd, the hottest day of the year so far, 35 degrees and rising. We knew we'd find him. It wasn't coincidence or happenstance, no, we knew. But prior knowledge didn't make the discovery any less shocking or painful or smelly. We located the body using a system I call my triangle of truth. Naturally, it has three angles, facts, evidence, and deduction. That's just how I work. Me, Annika, Nick, Alexander, 11. Science led with a shaved head. Norva Alexander, 13. My sister, long braids, short temper. My partner in solving crime. She has her own system. She feels things in her stomach, bones, and waters. Whatever waters are, I try not to think about Norva's liquids too much. That's an absumation of our collaboration, actually. Norva shouts theories and says seemingly stupid stuff. I then organize those words and think about them critically. This is, according to Norva, teamwork. According to her, She's the gut and I'm the nut. I should be offended, but I'm not. I'm used to it. To be fair to Norva, we both strongly suspected something was wrong through our noses. It smelt wrong on the try since Saturday. Dead wrong. The try is, apparently, a very special estate. It doesn't feel like it to many of us, though. We made models of it in art club once. Straws and paper mache blue and gravel. Hugo said the try was a seminal example of brutalism, but Hugo used to say a lot of random things. He won't be saying so much now, unfortunately. Oof, oof, this situation is terrible. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Again, I'll hold it together. Yes, the try. Norva says that these ends are a scorching hotbed for stories. She's not wrong. We've long solved the graffiti games, where the ball at, and the cat farm chronicles. But this is different. Bigger, scarier, dangerous. The stakes are so much higher. We'll start a real detective agency one day. A local business for local people. Give something back to the estate. Our tagline would be, if something's going down at the try, we know what's up. Norva shouted branding at the end of that sentence and flicked her hair into my eyes. So that's why we, I, keep files, the try files. The files are a top secret folder that includes, but is not limited to, logs, checklists, tables, photographs, screen grabs, recordings, both audio and video, which we use to track movements, register events, keep logs, follow leads, find culprits and serve justice. I store the documents online so we can access and update them on our, on our phones and on our almost obsolete computer. Where we go, they go. If we know, there are notes. The files in this format and configuration have been active for 11 months. I won't ever stop updating them. Not now there's a real case with a very real body. A body that belonged to someone I cared about. Not now they're actually important. Not now we need to find who did this to Hugo and why. That's chapter one of High Rise Mystery. <laughs>